So welcome to this episode on building a chat GPT app with inside Flutterflow. In this particular video, we are going to introduce some animations with inside our chat area, our chat list view with inside our application. We're also going to add a little bit of an execution to our Lottie animations to make them do something on the screen when things are happening. And we're also going to focus on the empty list widget in the middle there to give that a little bit, little bit more of an animation. And we're going to hook up to our list view. So without further ado, do let's get cracking so here we are then back on the home page of our application we're going to apply some animations now into the list view area so each of these um, sort of chat areas here are going to animate in a particular way so the effect that we're looking for is kind of like a slide and a fade effect so if you've never done animations in Flutterflow it's really really easy to do so let's show you how to do it so on the left hand side let's choose the row that we're going to animate so the first one that we're going to do is the one on the left hand side just hit the row and then we're going to move over to the right hand side and we're going to choose the animations option here just up the top there and we're going to set um, an on page load animation so just choose the add animation option and the first one that we're going to handle is the is the actual slide so just hit the slide option so what we're going to do with the slide is we're going to keep it with most of the settings that we've got there with e ease in and out this just here that's the type of animation that we're looking for we're going to apply the same duration and, and delay so we're going to apply two animations in this instance but we want both of them to play out at the same time the, the slide and the fade so just choose that option just there and then we're going to set the duration to be 300 so it's going to be 300 milliseconds it's going to be a very very brief animation that we're going to select here and then down in these particular sliders here you've got the horizontal slide or the vertical slide now we're not going to be moving the animations up and down but we're going to be moving the animations from left to right so what we need to do is we need to set the um the initial position which is going to be slightly to the left and then our final position is going to be zero that's where it is right now so all that we need to do is here is just choose minus four that's all that we need to do and if i just hit the little preview option here you can just see the animation coming in there so next up we now need to choose the fade animation so just select add animation here just down here and then let's just choose the fade option and then here we're going to keep the um the initial opacity at zero and then the final opacity at once is going to go from being completely not there to then fully then with inside the ui that's all that we actually need to do so if we now preview the animation by scrolling back up hit the preview option and you can just see that fade effect that we got coming in there so next up we need to do the animation for the right hand side so just choose the row here that represents the chat um, element that's actually on the right hand side of the UI just move up to the animations option up here and we're going to choose an on page load add animation so we're going to do exactly the same thing here first so we're going to do the slide the slide is going to be slightly different although we've got we're going to apply the same duration and delay and we're going to set this as 300 the initial position is actually going to be um plus four okay so we're just going to choose the initial position as four so it's going to be slightly coming in from the right to the left here and we can just hit the little preview option here and you can just see it coming in there we're then going to come down here and we're just going to choose add animation and we're going to do the same thing as we did before just choose fade and that's simply all we need to do so if I go back up here hit the preview and you're going to get that effect that's showing in the UI so let's now fire that up in test mode and let's see what it looks like so I'm just going to fire a question here if you just um, look very carefully at the animation that's going to play out as I hit the send option we can just see it sliding in from the right hand side and then we've got the animation that's coming in from the left hand side as well so which is the largest planet you can just see it coming in the right here and then you should see it come in from the left there we go so we've got this nice just very very subtle animation with inside the user interface so back on our home page now let's do something a little bit more simple now let's animate our little robot that's up in the top left hand corner let's just make a few little ui tweaks first i'm just going to select the robot and i'm just going to move um, 10 pixels off from the left hand side just to give it a bit more space here and i'm just going to rename the animation up here 
to um, a kind of Lottie uh, robot. It just gives us a reference, a better reference of inside the action flow editor. Just hit the little tick there. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna then just pop into the action flow editor for this particular button. So when the user actually hits the send button on this, we're just gonna make our Lottie animation animate. And we can do that very simply by just making sure we, we've got it selected. Go into the action, uh, the action flow editor, hit open. And what we're going to do, we're just going to simply add an animation just here. So let's just hit the little plus and say add action. We're just going to hit the little arrow here and just move it up to the top. So it's just above the app state here. And we're just going to do a search up here for Lottie. And you can see it there, just Lottie animation. Just select that. And we're just going to choose our Lottie robot. So you can see now where the names and the references come in. So it's very useful to name some of your widgets. And certainly if you've got lots of Lottie animations with actually inside your application. So just choose Lottie Robot, and that's all that we need to do. So all I can simply do now is go to the test mode. Let's just do a reload, and let's see what that looks like. So just added a very simple question. Just keep your eye on our little robot on the top left. As I hit the send, you'll see that the animation just kind of plays out. Just again, gives a little bit of visual pizzazz to the application. And of course, you could do something, for example, like you'd actually could get that animation to actually play out when you um, when the actual chat response actually comes back from uh, chat GPT. Um, and you can just add that as a different point within inside the action flow. But I've just simply got it there at the top there to play out at that particular point. So when you saw the very first version of our application, you would have spotted that we had this animation that's uh, running in the center of the application when no chat has actually occurred. It's just a component that we've got created that we've got hooked up to the list view when there is no chat messages. So let's create that now. So we've inside the UI builder. Let's just hit the little diamond here for a brand new component. Let's hit the create blank option and let's choose empty chat as the text. Hit create component. And then on the left hand side of inside the widget tree. Now let's now start building out the basic parts of the UI. So let's firstly add a little plus here. Let's choose a column. Everything's going to be vertically stacked. Let's choose a row for our Lottie animation and let's just hit another row here on the column and that's going to be for our text with inside the row let's add the Lottie animation so just select that and choose Lottie here and just choose Lottie animation and then with inside our row let's simply add a text field so we've got everything we there quite basic so with inside the text field while we've got it selected let's choose the theme style there and let's choose it's text uh, body secondary. Let's just choose that little conditional visibility that gets itself turned on at the moment. Um, that's all that we need to do here. Let's move up to the Lottie animation and let's choose on the right hand side, instead of it being network, it's gonna be asset because the Lottie animation is already preloaded with inside our base project. So just choose the asset animation and let's choose background Lottie. So we're gonna want this to auto animate um, and it's gonna be looping, that's fine. Let's just take the width off here and let's put the height here as 200 so that gives us um, the the right height that we're looking for and on the expansion we just want to expand out so it, it does the full width of the component so let's choose the text option here um, on the row in fact we'll just choose the row in fact and we're just going to now center everything now so our text is right in the middle and then with inside our text we're just going to put some text in here uh, enter a chat message to begin dot 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 okay so we're all good here so let's move back over to the home page and now let's now configure the list view to use that widget so that, that component so let's select the list view current there let's move over to the empty list widget let's just say show empty list widget and on the widget type we're going to choose component and then we're going to say select component and we're going to choose empty chat and the height that we just need to make sure that in fact we're just going to choose the view in, in ui builders you get an idea that it's there we're just going to choose center the component and with the height um you can put 250 in there that should be absolutely fine for the height that should keep it nice and central to the ui so just key 250 in there so you can see here now that it's previewed there inside the application. So let's now fire this up in test mode and let's see what it looks like. Okay, so there we are now with inside the test mode. And let's just put a message in there, write me a poem, hit send. And we should now see that um, the, the uh, empty widget actually disappears now. And of course, now the call out is going to be now to chat GPT.
So there we go. That's a wrap on building this chat GPT app with inside Flutterflow. Hope you have enjoyed building the project. Of course, please do keep an eye on my channel because I actually got some good ideas where I can actually now extend this application and do other things. I know there's been a few comments in the chat as well asking various questions. So I'm looking to build on this series in the future. So please do subscribe to the channel and of course, always like the videos as well because that really does help me out. So please do um, yeah, chuck your comments in the description. I'm more than happy to help, but I'll answer any questions about this particular series. If you want to see more, please do let me know. Please do uh, send over your ideas. And of course, I'll see what I can do in adding to this application. So thank you for joining me and we'll see you in the next series.